Hello everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back, playing some StarCraft II. Wings of Liberty, I'm gonna start the Zeratul missions. Like I had mentioned last time, I don't plan on playing these all in a row necessarily. I like the idea of spreading them out a bit. Raynor, the Hounds of the Void are closing in. I impart my memory, my very essence, into this Ihan crystal, so that you will see what I have seen, and that the future Okay. Cinematic incoming. Zeratul. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Friend Raynor. Long has it been since we stood together against the swarm. Since then, I have wandered the void in solitude. Seeking an ancient prophecy, rumored to foretell the return of the Zel Naga. My sojourn led me to a remote world known as Ulan. Where I discovered fragments of the prophecy, yet I was not the first to find them. It falls to you now, old friend, to relive my memories and believe. Files this place, Kerrigan. Do you hear them, Zeratu? Whispering from the stars. The galaxy will burn with their coming. Perhaps. But you won't live to see it.
fate cannot be changed. The end comes. And when it finds me, I shall embrace it. is uncertain. There is always hope. I remember seeing the first part of that cinematic at BlizzCon. Everyone went crazy when Kerrigan showed up. So this map, we want to take zero health damage on Zeratul, I think, and then try to keep as many Stalkers alive as possible at the end and get them on the Void Seeker. Just have to be extra careful on this map. My A lot of gotcha moments. We must not but good old Zeratul. Does a million damage. The prophecy was divided into fragments, each kept at separate shrines. I must gather them and depart this world quickly. Harudi, this chasm is vast. It is fortunate that I can phase through the shadows to the other side. In the service of Blink Aya, tutorial. I also remember at that BlizzCon, they had said that they were going to have a Zero Tool mini campaign in each of the three parts. I guess they, they just ditched that for Heart of the Swarm. I think there were a lot of features in Heart of the Swarm that got left behind. Okay. Spore crawlers can detect my presence. I should stun them with my void prison. Okay, well, we can kill everything before... The Void Prison runs out, and Zeratul does so much damage we can very easily kill the colonies before it runs out as well. And there are three hatcheries we have to be on the lookout for as well, but that's that's later. My calling. That's later. I I These jerks. My calling. There we go. Honor command. So I'll probably do the same thing. We'll blink in. We'll void stasis the Ultralisk and then kill at Hydralisk. Or we could just do this and kill the Hydralisk. Depends on what else is here. So let's void stasis the Ultralisk. There's just burrowed stuff. Like I said, there's a lot of gotcha moments on this map. It's not that bad if you know what to expect. But if you don't, you're almost definitely going to take health damage on Zeratul. Or you're going to lose all your stalkers at some point. In either case, it's, it's not that bad. It's actually one of my favorite maps. I quite like it. It's a very fun micro map. That spore crawler can detect me from across the chasm. It must be destroyed. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Glory to the first. That overseer can see through my cloak. I'd best stun it with my void prison before crossing this chasm. I actually quite like how the Zerg reacts. Like, they burrow. Like, a bunch of them burrow after you kill a certain amount. It's pretty neat. Okay, blink on over. Zeratul can't throw that... He can't take the gauntlet off and throw it into the sky to kill the Overseer. The first fragment of the prophecy... Soon all will be made clear. Why not surrender yourself to oblivion, Zeratul? Wouldn't it be better to end your struggle now than witness the final agonizing moments of your species? The foreboding prophecy weighs heavily on my heart. I'd best reach the remaining shrines before she reconsiders that... I Whoops, interrupted you there, buddy. So much for Kerrigan's reprieve. Sway. Oh, Shakuras. I am the voice. Okay, let's focus fire a little bit here. I guess not focus fire. That's fine. No problem, stalkers. Greetings, exalted one. We are here in the service of High Templar, Karas. He is near 
nearby. Your presence is most welcome. Let us keep moving. Okay, let's just be careful here. We can permit us to destroy their defenses before we proceed. Yeah, and they kind of burrow there just to react and be like, ah, oh, we're under attack. I think that's a, a neat little addition. Okay, so we'll work hard to keep these stalkers alive. It might be a little tricky. We'll try our best. I think there's a sneaky hidden ultralisk somewhere up here. Like, there's this one, and then there's also another one. So let's try to get rid of the mutalisks first. Like, draw them to us. And we're doing some really good damage here, and we can always blink our stalkers out if we think one's going to take health damage. You also get all of your shields and health back on your stalkers when you get to the next, the next areas. Like the, um, each shrine, it heals all your stuff. So we're going to try to snipe this overseer as well. If the ultralisk gets close, then that's no problem. All we have to do is pull it back in void stasis. And if we... Blink and void. St oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Void stasis there. Okay. I think there's a hidden ultralisk, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's just kill this one. He's not burrowing. I thought maybe he might. All right. So let's see if we can bait this one out. Oh, it must not be here. It must be in another place. There's one or two hit burrowed ultralisks, just hanging out being jerks. That patrol of brood lords must be dealt with cautiously, or we will be torn asunder. Okay, so let's see if we can pull these one by one. I am the heart of darkness. So like we move there forward, cool. bait the attack, blink away. He's gonna come towards us. Then we stun him, the and then we kill him. We should be able to get him right before this runs out, and we'll do the same thing with the next one. Not I too bad. Okay, well, we'll make it, we'll let it do one more round. Again, this is where you just, just be extra careful. You could just bomb in there. It really wouldn't be that bad. But Zeratul's like, lest we be torn asunder, be super careful. Okay, so here it comes. Let's wait for it to get to the end of its patrol. There we go. You see the broodlings move forward, which means they're, they're going to get ready to launch towards us. Okay, and then we finish it up, no problem. Zeratul's Void Stasis is insanely good, but we only get Zeratul for, well, technically three missions, pretty much two missions. We just wait for it to be up again, grab this, kind of leapfrog here, right? We move up with Zeratul, hit something that he has Void Stasis, and then move up with the Stalkers, and then hit something else. Okay, don't take damage, don't take silly damage like that. There we go. The next section, I think once we blink over there, we might just want to wait for some shields on Zeratul. They come back really, really fast. Uh, we basically want to blink over and trigger an event, and then just hang out way back here. It's not that bad. Just try not to lose anything while we do this. Okay, so let's go. And then Zeratul, we're going to run you way over here. And then the Stalker's going to wait. Prepare for an aerial attack. Brace yourselves, my brethren. So they can hang out back here and kill the mutalisks. Well, Zeratul does his thing back here and kills this ultralisk really fast. Okay. Then we get in here with Zeratul. Cool. Okay, no health damage on anything, I don't think. Nope, he's good. The key is just preempting that ultralisk that unburrows there. My burdens and we get another stalker. And then I think that's kind of the first part of the map. Because this is where the hatchery starts showing up. I will erase the deep. The Queen of Blades built hatcheries here. She seeks to subvert this sacred world. I shall put an end to that plan. Okay, this can be a little tricky unless you're extra careful. Okay, and we have a Broodlord coming. So let's lure it to us and do the same thing that we've been doing. Snipe it now. 
with the Broodlord gone, this is a lot easier. We can easily, we can very easily get the Overseers. But just gotta be a little careful because there are Overseers that give the Spinecrawler's vision. So let's just wait for it to come back and then we can Void Stasis it again. Don't be hasty. No reason to rush. So that makes it lose vision as well. There we go. And then we can just very slowly wipe this stuff. Oh, never mind. It can still see us. I guess because there's a Mutalisks. Okay, cool. And let's move over here and try to get the other Overseer. Maybe just draw the Mutalisk first. I will erase the demons of we Let's see. Oh, never mind. Okay. Now that they're gone, we can just take this out. We are plus three on the Stalkers, which is why it's, I think, worth actually taking the time to just go slow. Because they can do a lot of damage, as opposed to just bombing in there with Zeratul or something. Okay, that's all the Overseers, which means Zeratul can come on down here. Not gonna risk my... My Stalkers, so let's just bring them down here. And even if we did take health damage, it wouldn't matter because we could heal them here momentarily. So there are three hatcheries. It's actually really easy to miss the other two. They're in semi-hidden spots you can only get to with Blink, whereas this one is in a very obvious place. Okay. Next shrine. The second fragment of the prophecy. My task is nearly complete. Your hope is an illusion, old fool. If you can so easily read my mind, Kerrigan, you'll see that I'll never give up so long as hope remains. Careful now. Kerrigan has set guards to bar our way. It could be a trap. Yeah, so there is a trap here. Carefully. One at a time, or risk being overwhelmed. Want to draw the Broodlord to us as usual. Okay, so now there's no more vision. There is a Burrowed Ultralisk right here. So let's see if we can draw it out. Let's let the Broodlord go away. Very well. Okay, we move forward. There it is. Again, let's just be extra careful here. We just don't want I don't want to draw the Broodlord and the Ultralisk. We need to void stasis one of them. And not both. So what we'll do, we can draw this. I don't care if the Mutalisks come as well. Okay, great. So this is what he said, like, take them out one at a time. This is exactly what we're doing. Don't risk it. No need to risk it. We need to wait for Void Stasis to be up in order to kill the Broodlord. It's just about up now. Come to me, Mutalisks. This is just an exercise in quick saving. If uh, if you have issues, you just quick save, load it up. If you mess it up, it's not that hard. I mean, it can be. Again, it's just about map knowledge and understanding. Okay. And then here comes the Broodlord. We can just move on and kill it. Whoop. Taking a little damage there, Zeratul, don't. Okay, we're good. And then Zeratul, there's one Spore Crawl. I think there's another Ultralisk here, actually. So let's move these guys back so it doesn't get drawn into them. We're going to blink Void Stasis. Maybe there isn't another Ultralisk. I thought there was. It doesn't hurt to just ensure that we have Void Stasis up. Just in case one of them pops out. Okay, looks good. Okay, we're good. The next section, just leave Zeratul down here. Otherwise, he will almost definitely die. The mainlings spew acid when they die. Stalkers, take them out from a distance. Okay, so now we're going to blink back and forth. I wonder, actually, we could probably void stasis a mainling on this ledge. That would be pretty neat. If you void stasis them on the ledge. Okay, 
then they would get stuck and you could kill more of them. I never thought about doing that with Zeratul. That could be pretty neat. You can take a lot of these hits on the face with the Banelings because, you know, the Stalkers have... They're armored, so it's not really that big of a deal if you do take Banling hits. But it's fun to blink back and forth, and you're almost bound to take at least one hit, but ultimately it's not a problem. The next hatchery is over here. Again, pretty easy to miss if you're not paying attention. And there's some Banling... There's some Burrowed stuff up here, so maybe we could take that out now before we miss it. I thought... I thought there were more, more Burrowed Banelings here. Actually, it doesn't happen until you get a little closer. Let's go and get the the hatchery over here first. Let's send Zeratul by himself. This hatchery must be destroyed if I am to keep the Queen of Blades from subverting this land. Okay, let's wait for Blink to be up on everybody before we risk this. So let's pull the Overseer in. You require my skills. Then we kill it. I think there's an Ultralisk here as well. There's Ultralisks everywhere, apparently. The last hatchery is the hardest one, but I mean, it's not not super hard, but you do need to be a little more careful on it. So we blink and void stasis. There's the Ultralisk. And we will kill it just to be thorough. It's actually burrowing, interesting. We could lure it out. Okay. Let's just go and prepare for the next section. We'll leave that Ultralisk to survive. The Swarm will become our allies at some point anyway, right? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then the last hatchery is near the last section with Karas. Doing pretty good here. Haven't had to do any reloading or anything like that. So let's be extra careful as we inch down here and get rid of this Overseer. Just, just hold position here. We'll kill it eventually. Units spawn down here very frequently. The triggering is, is very precise with where they spawn, so I think it's good to get rid of that and ensure that Zeratul is safe. On the other side of this, there are a bunch of colonies I that show up. Yeah, just random mainlings behind us. All right. Might be worth waiting for a little bit of uh, shields. I will but we're close enough, I think, to the next shrine. So we want to make sure that uh, not his... once we get to the top of this ramp, we're going to bl just blink up there. Okay, I think we're good. So blink. Kill them before they can take root and attack. Right, so we just do as much damage as we can here. Zeratul can get rid of a lot of these. And even if you don't block them like I have, and that was actually kind of lucky, I didn't mean to do that, but it happened. You can just send your stalkers up here. Cool. So we preempted that whole section as well. We're going to get another stalker for this next part as well. And once we're done with this section, there's going to be a short cutscene, and then we just have to run for it. So I want to focus on trying not to lose any stalkers on my way out. Hopefully we can do it, but it's actually a little tricky. So we'll do our best. It just happens very suddenly, and you just gotta go. Kerrigan and I were both drawn here to uncover an ancient prophecy. With your aid, I pray we can discover it before her. It is an honor, Great One. Lead on you. Okay, so we want to void stasis the important you targets. Me. Cold is the void. Like the Ultralisk? I've placed the Ultralisk in a void prison. Bring it down, Karas. Okay, and then let them protect us. You address me. I thought we were supposed to get another stalker. I guess not. Zeratul, can you destroy the airborne sir? Okay, we'll void stasis one of them. And then we'll just take them out from this ledge up here. And then we can also hit Nidus Worms from here as well. Just blink down with Zeratul and get these. Nidus Worms must be destroyed 
or the Zerg reinforcements will overwhelm us. Zeratul has destroyed their words. Press on. We are one. Oh, my stalkers. <laughs> Poor guys took a lot of damage I there. I really thought we were supposed to get a sixth stalker, but I, I guess not. Okay, so before we step on that last thing, we have to go and grab this hatchery. I blinked down onto that ultralisk. I forgot he was there. You address me. So we're gonna head on over here. This is where things can get a little tricky. Haha, they all made it. Okay. Because this hatchery actually builds roaches. And I believe it just continues to do so. I am the voice of the eclipse. Like over and over and over. So you do I have to kill them and not lose any units, basically. Blade seeks to pervert this world with that hatchery. I must destroy it. Okay, Zeratul. You require my code. Let's do it, buddy. Lure him down. Burden. Keep in mind how much damage he does. Will erase the demons okay, we don't want him tanking the next one. So let's... Void stasis this again. Come on, buddies. Okay, only one, that's fine. There we go, here they come. Now turn and fight. Get Zeratul in there. Blink. Okay, cool. Now we can just... Ah, stop, 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 stop. Okay, void stasis. Okay, not bad. I will get rid of the spore crawlers just to be thorough here. We can get these guys. Well, actually, we can blink down from here. So let's just eliminate all this stuff. We do not have to destroy the Roachborn. Silly broodlings. Okay, so the escape section. I'm gonna just try to blink in very specific spots. It is done. All of Harrigan's hatcheries are destroyed. There is yet hope for this world. I will erase the demons of the past. Alrighty. But it's it's very, very fast, but it's also very easy to lose stalkers along the way. Here we go. Heavily. Final piece of the prophecy. It speaks of one who shall break the cycle of the gods. Most ominous. But if the Queen of Blades seeks this prophecy, we must keep it from her. The rest is obscured. What? You might kill with prophecy's layers, Zeratul. But you cannot outrun the dune that awaits us all. We cannot prevail against so many. I will stand against the Queen of Blades while you escape with the fragments. I will not abandon you. The prophecy is more important than either of us. Reveal its secrets, Seratul. The future rests on it. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, brother. Shozak Maka. I must get to the Void Seeker before the Zerg overwhelm me and the prophecy is lost. Okay, here we go. So we made it through without losing any stalkers there. We want to blink by these rocks. There we go, and then we hit these. Inch close to them. Okay, let's see if we can do one more blink here. Okay, and we got them all out. Always close to do that. I cannot decipher the fragments on my own. Yet I know who might interpret them. The preservers of Zakul. If they cannot, I fear this entire universe 
That escape section happens so fast. I think on Brutal you do only get five stalkers. Maybe it's on lower difficulties you get an extra one. No zero tool life damage taking. Taken, we saved all of our stalkers. Got all the hatcheries, we got all the research. Cool stuff. So, people in the Hyperion do have things to say after each zero tool mission as well. Which is why I also think it makes sense to spread them out, because Raynor goes and talks with everyone. He's like, oh, that was weird. <laughs> so you'd imagine he wouldn't just keep doing it over and over. I'm okay, Doc, before you start asking. You were staring at that Protoss device for a very long time. Are you sure? Well, now you mentioned that I could use a drink. Or two. Maybe what I saw would make more sense if I was drunk. What was it, Jim? An old friend of mine. Looking for the end of the world. Okay. We can spend all of these. I may just do all these. Well, you know, we could do it along the way. So I'm thinking we go Hercules because I'm never going to make Predators. Hercules transports I rarely make. They're useful for one mission, though, at least, which is more than you could say for Predators. Predators are cool, but again, there's just not a great opportunity to use them. They're so fragile. If anyone has a good use for Predators, let me know, especially on Brutal Difficulty. I just can't think of a, a time. This is really good for the Mobius Factor mission, so let's snag the Hercules transport. And we got an upgrade to our Zerg tank. The Zerg sample has developed an ocular organ. Will limbs be next? There's a basic dichotomy of Zerg cell reproduction. Type A cell throws off seemingly random mutations. Type B cells hunt down these mutations and destroy them. It's survival of the fittest on the cellular level. Su successful mutations thrive. I use microscopic scrapings from the sample to test an electrical discharge field I've been tinkering with for some time, which is the Predators. The results were gratifying. As an interesting side effect, the Zerg matter developed into a very dense but flexible material. This material could be used to reinforce the superstructure of those old Hercules-class cargo ships that Swan's always trying to find a use for. I wish there was time to pursue both the discharge field and iterate on the hardened matter. I doubt there will be. There's plenty of time! It's just an arbitrary constraint. We can only pick one or the other. Let's go get a drink. Watch the news. We have a very special guest today, Crown Prince Valerian. Thank you so much for joining us, Highness. Thank you, Kate. It's wonderful to be here. Let me get right to the question on everyone's mind. Is there anyone special in your life right now? Truth be told, Kate, I've had a crush on you for many years. Oh, stop. <laughs> but in all seriousness, with the Zerg invasion, there's little time for such things. I've been studying military tactics under General Warfield, and whatever spare time I have is devoted to statecraft. It's my goal to be the best Emperor our people could ask for. When the time comes, of course. Wonderful. Now I've got two of them to worry about. They really tried to set Valerian up to be the likable son, for sure. How did you become such good buddies with those freaky Protoss? All I hear is they kill Terrans like you and me on sight. Some of them would. But some others would fight to the death protecting people like us. I helped them defend their homeworld from the Zerg during the first war. When Kerrigan came back leading the swarm, I helped them out again. They're real big on loyalty. Damn, Jimmy. Almost sounds like you respect them. I wouldn't expect you to understand, Tychus. Good to see you, brother. I've been... Wait. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen into the spirit world. The Protoss. He gave you... A crystal. And now you've been seeing what he's seen. That ain't nothing to do with you. Stay out of my head, Tosh. Have it your way. But you want to trade careful when you go looking into the beyond. If you need me... You know where I'll be. Yeah, overlooking everybody like a weirdo. Okay, armory time. We don't get credits for these missions, just talking to Swan. My shift is almost over. Little drinking, little shut eye, some more drinking, then right back to work. How long was I down in the lab, Matt? You've been gone for hours, sir. You've been in the lab all that time? I used the Eon Crystal Zeratul gave me. I'd swear it only lasted a few minutes. So vivid. 
Zeratul's been searching for a Zelnaga prophecy about the end of the universe. There's more. We just haven't got to it yet. Alrighty. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been Jay Barino. I'll see you next time. Bye now.